First question, why am I selling the camper? You're seeing the reason right here. Just purchased a Cybertruck, going to be building the first truck camper, hopefully in the world, on a Cybertruck. Actually doing two of them. This YouTube channel will have the entire story and you can follow along. But this old truck camper, uh, what I'm about to show you, we've loved this vehicle. It's been good to my kids. We've traveled the country. Uh, gave us a place to hide out and go places during COVID. I have zero regrets and we will miss it, but we're on to the next adventure. All right, guys, welcome to Boulder, Colorado. Selling my pickup truck, gonna have all the information online, but I wanted to do a video here to do a quick evaluation of everything. But as I said, I'll have all the particulars um, listed on all the locations that I'm attempting to sell it. So let's just go over the truck first. This is a 6.4, it's a 2008 King Rancher, 6.4, full bed, eight foot bed, crew cab. Um, this truck is pretty damn clean. I've maintained it rather well. It's supposed to have, if you look at the manual, you're supposed to change the oil every 10,000 miles. If it's heavy use and heavy, you know, got a load on it, it's supposed to be every 5,000. And I've been doing it 2,500, 3,000 maximums for the entire time I owned it. And the guy, I'm the second owner, previous owner was an old guy who drove this thing to, from Pennsylvania to Florida for Daytona Beach Harleys. And so he had a trailer on the back, babied the thing. It was a cream puff when I got it. Um, this thing has also never been driven in the, you know, I was in New Jersey. I'm in Colorado now, but there, uh, for a period of time I was in New Jersey. Um, never drove it in the snow and ice whatever it was not my primary vehicle it just sat in the driveway other than when we were using it um it's really clean has no dents it does have um i had a fender i had to get the fender replaced just because we had a tire go and it damaged it but it hasn't been any in any motor vehicle accidents it's clean there is no rust um anywhere on it um, you also see I have I converted this to super singles. So this was a dually um, This is like an $18,000 upgrade um, Has the big 41 inch tires has the aluminum M wraps. I have YouTube videos on this stuff, too um, It's got Timbrins on it. It used to have airbags. I switched it to Timbrins, which is a device that goes see if I can Show in the video here if I can see I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from this perspective um Anyway, I don't think I can, where am I, where am I going here? Oh, the Timbrons are right there. Can't see it. Um, doesn't have airbags. These are great. They don't need any maintenance. They don't need any air. They just do the job of maintaining the load. Um, it also has torque lift stabilizers, uh, uppers and lowers. I've added leaf springs. We added uh, shocks to this thing, the Fox shocks here they're in the back as well they're not fox forgive me for not knowing the name but they're new shocks on it i've done everything you can this thing it's not bulletproof per se but i, I left the hood on latched here so we can take a quick look um so like i said it's a 6.4 i've changed the oil religiously the achilles heel of a 6.4 is if you don't change the oil enough you can get some oil in the engine that's not happening here this thing um runs like a beast Anytime anything's need, needed to be fixed, I've used all top of the line stuff. Um, I replaced this is the inner cool, cooler. They're all Michimi, uh, Mishimoto. I mean, the, the radiator uh, is a thousand bucks. This is the uh, uh, inner cooler. This is the trans cooler, all been replaced. Also replaced the, um, the alternator uh, with a higher, more powerful, heavy duty um, aftermarket. Um, didn't mention this this is uh this comes with the truck this is a surf rack basically you can put a cooler on here has all your fishing poles it connects to the um front hitch which we added that was another upgrade um anyway the truck is mint um in really really good condition uh the video stopped on me so please forgive me so i might be repeating myself so I had to cut in a little extra here, but the vehicle has um, about 92,000, 93,000 original miles. Um, like I said, she's clean. 
Oh, this is, uh, and if you don't, if you haven't realized this, the super singles, uh, the reason why I did this is, first of all, obviously it makes the truck look amazing. I want to sell the truck together. I would much prefer to do this as a combination. Um, uh, but the, it, it looks better. It, uh, handles better. Um, you can air down obviously you can get you can get over curbs you can do a little bit better four wheeling obviously with the size of this camper you're not going crazy but you can get off the road for sure you can air down and go on the beach um she's a beauty all right so let's look at the inside all the leather is in good condition i'll even I haven't even really cleaned this up. I usually every year would go over everything with um, one of these fancy leather cleaners uh, for leather seats and leather, I guess it softens the leather and, leather and maintains it. Floor mats in here, nothing's ripped, nothing's torn, nothing's broken. Um, you know, it's a little older. Obviously it's not as high tech as a new uh, F450, uh, but it has a bunch of bells and whistles. It's nice and big in here. You are definitely comfortable. Can you fit pe four people in here without blinking an eye? A um, bunch of wires here. I just have this wired for if you want a CB. I used to have a fire scanner in here. Uh, you're all ready to go. I'll also clean this up a little bit better than I have when uh, someone decides to purchase it. But that's a quick review of the inside. So the camper itself is an Eagle Cap 1165 2019. One thing I would recommend... I don't care if you don't even buy this one, but I would suggest anyone you're in the market for a used truck camper or any camper for that matter, I would not buy anything that was built during the COVID years. Uh, things went crazy then. People were buying campers. They couldn't keep them uh, at the dealership and the workmanship went absolutely to shit. Um, so this was built prior to that. It's a little older. This is the last uh, year prior to them changing the stickers, the, uh, the, uh, basically the look of it but it's 1165 three slides weighs about 5,000 pounds dry um camper I, I actually got them to add an extra uh, panel on the roof so it has um uh, three uh solar panels on the roof for 300 watts and i also here's another huge thing that i did is i we added a battle born 300 amp hour uh solar system uh with uh, with a Victron Multi Plus. I think it's 3,000 watt inverter. Thing is stellar. We barely ever, if ever, use the generator. The generator, I think to date, has maybe 11 or 14 uh, hours on it. Um, I basically have run it more just to make sure it's uh, in good shape than, I, than I've actually used it. Uh, but it's a good backup. Uh, 99 times out of 100, the batteries and the solar will be sufficient. You go down to Florida and it's 98 degrees and you're in um, really bad humidity. The air conditioner will work with this system, but it won't do it for hours upon hours. And so at some point it's handy to have either be plugged in or uh, use the generator. A little bit messy at the moment, although it's not too bad. This is the uh, Victron Multi Plus. I like having this right where it is because you can actually manually shut it off if you have to. And the... Um, the uh, toggle switch that I always leave on is there because you want to shut it off. An emergency breaker resets and things never gone off. Your shunt, everything is there. Did this system myself. Um, can't see it or it's hard to see. I put plexiglass here, but the 300 amp hours is right there. The lithium batteries, that was a void. So we use that space. Back here at the moment, again, some of the stuff is just thrown in here, but there's some chairs, a table, etc. Got the uh, Blackstone grill going here. Uh, speaking of that, if you go in here into your propane, you got your two 30 pound cylinders. This little connection you have here that I have capped off. I put, built this, not built this, bought this valve. Basically you can hook up your grill and you can tailgate. Uh, and you ain't gonna run out with 60 pounds of propane. <laughs> Assuming it's full, of course. Um, these compartments are all jammed full. This is, I will give this away as part of the sale here. This is a, uh, uh, Vier, uh, I, I forget the mod, the, uh, mo model name, but this is meant for RVs. You can connect it to the battery, fill the tires, uh, if, and when you air down at the beach or you have a problem, you know, there's the outdoor compartments I won't go into. They're pretty stuffed full of stuff. They're actually locked. This one might be open. I have this filled with all kinds of tools and sockets and 
different uh, lubrication things to keep things running properly. All right, let's check out the inside. All right, before we go inside, you'll notice that I have the truck sitting on these max tracks. This is just because the, the street is not level. So I got them on two sides here just to keep um, the truck reasonably level. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Speaking of, on the back here is another two. I'm going to, these are included, uh, at least two max tracks on the back. In the rare event you get stuck on the beach or in mud or snow, or whatever, you throw these under the tires. They're fantastic. They're like 800 bucks. Uh, the best, they're the best tracks made in the business. All right, so let's go inside. It's again, not super clean in here, but the pictures will do a little bit more just, justice. But got your kitchen island, everything works. This is the solar system that was added. Um, this shows you right, right now we're at 73% uh, battery power. Anyhow, here's the kitchen. I think we're gonna probably purchase two new um, covers so that we can take these off and just give you a nice clean refrigerator. Uh, we'll figure something out. Lazy Boys, really, really nice. You got your TV set. Um, it comes with an HD TV antenna on the roof. You got your dinette. Everything works. Um, everything's in good shape. Uh, there's your radio that you can use with Bluetooth speakers that exist on the inside and outside already. Here's the bathroom. Pardon a little bit of the mess. We, sometimes we use the the uh, shower area as a storage area. Here's your toilet, sink, all kinds of storage space in this thing. A lot of it, again, sorry, please forgive me. It's got my stuff in it still, but you got plenty of room to put clothes uh, for easily for two people. Here is the bedroom. Sorry, again, a little messy here, but you get the idea. This mattress is actually has a, a cover on it um, that you guys can have. It's in perfect condition. It's a it's not a Tempur-Pedic, but it's a high quality foam mattress queen. Uh, there's another TV here. There's your um, uh, closets. Again, closets everywhere, storage everywhere. What else can I say? There's your hatch. It's closed at the moment. Anyway. Please send me any questions that you have, unless I think of anything else. That's just going to be the uh, video uh, describing this Eagle Cap 1165 on a F450 Super Singles X Dually with solar, uh, with 300 amp hours of solar. All right, guys, give me a shout.